Hey, what's up guys? Benny here and welcome to another episode of Benny's Bootcamp, the series where we check out some of the best players and best gameplay in Warzone and break them down to give you tips and tricks to help get your own gameplay better. And today we're checking out someone who, in my opinion, is the best player in Warzone at the moment. He is an absolute beast and that is Biffle. His links will be in the description so make sure to go check him out, subscribe and tell him where you came from because he is an animal. He's like, you can see it already at the top of your screen. He's got a 6.36 KD, over 400 wins and has also won a lot of money in prize money from tournaments. And you can just see it just, just from these opening couple of clips, the way that he plays the map, the way that he can come out on top in situations where he's outnumbered he's got his back against the wall like I can't stress this enough he is one of my favorite players to watch at the moment um and you have a lot to learn from like look here like, he's getting pushed in superstore he's got almost no plates left he's outnumbered his teammates are going down and he somehow still wipes the team so let's just check that out because this this is important okay so heads outside first of all right to kind of break away from that fight after gaining high ground inside great then uses that pillar to get an angle on the opponent where he has a chance and then once again throws in those jump shots which we've been mentioning a lot on the channel recently to give him an advantage in that gunfight so he comes out on top uh, another thing here right he gets called out uh player gets called out from the top there he also sees the trophy system on the wall oh he didn't see that actually but because he heard the buy station the enemy player heard the buy station he jumped down easy kill getting shot from uh an assault rifle at a distance he's still got a mini uzi so goes and gets his load out and then heads over and honestly i don't even get how he saw that guy it was like it was like a little little bit of his head just popping over the little edge as he moves across here great eyes great vision and also great use of the m4a1 and like i personally use a m4 with a sight on it but biffle has changed it up a little bit because he's comfortable with that iron sight which if you can do and you can get is going to be better than a uh, m4 with, a, with an optic because he's got stippled grip tape instead it's an incredible setup monolithic suppressor the m16 grenadier barrel um the commando four grip 60 round mag and then stippled grip tape ridiculous and you'll you'll see it throughout this gameplay the way that he beams but here just gets unlucky. Like, this is one of the most difficult areas of the map to kind of fight, in my opinion. Like, just in the open on in front of the car dealership. Great right here. Manages to take it down. But I think he misses on the UAV, the player above him. So he's kind of puts himself in a bit of a set bad place, but manages to get into cover so he can't get thirsted. His teammates clear it up and gets revived. Exactly what you want. It goes to loot. Recognizes his teammate, goes down. And look at this. There is, there is not a second... Like, there is not a second's hesitation, right, by Biffle here. Like, Lucky Jamu goes down, someone else we've checked out on the channel before, goes flying around the corner, doesn't miss a sh I, I don't think I can get bored of watching this, if I'm honest. <laughs> like, look at this, it's one of the cleanest double kills you'll see. Using that MP5, breaks through the glass, boom, boom, goodbye, thank you very much give me all your money um but yeah you like biffle does this countless like uh, you don't get a 6kd unless you do it and he's like uh, the way that he moves around the map as well is perfect here really good as well pushing buildings one of the most difficult things to do in warzone i personally hate doing it and only do it if i have to but look how him and rep just push this together drop down the mp5s firing from the hip to clean this up, jumps into the room, even though the guy's sitting in a corner with an Origin shotgun. By the way, we don't like those people very much because they they will be there to ruin your day. Like one of my friends actually got a uh, lost a lot of money from a tournament recently because of that. And here we go. Climbs up. Let's just, let's just, let's just look at this. As, he, as Biffle climbs up, heads straight up, sees the guys on the rooftop, uses that M6, M4 perfectly, breaks him, Oh, did he let him get away there? Hold on, hold on. I don't know if Biffle's just made a mistake. Biffle doesn't really make mistakes that often. But perfect down. Cracks him. He could have finished him there. 27. Okay, that's interesting. Interesting that he left him. I don't know if that was an accident or a side, but he's pushed him straight away. Using the top. Switches to the MP5 because he's going into a close quarters engagement. Uh, you never really want to use your assault rifle in these sort of situations. Kills that guy straight straight away. This is one of the weirdest fights I think I've ever seen in a bit of gameplay. Let's him die. Do they know each other? Like, that's all I'm thinking about. Okay, hold on. Hold on. We got a nice little crouch side we're going, going on in here. Just looking at each other. Just, they must be friends. They, they, what? This is one of the weirdest encounters I think I've ever seen. Hi. 
Peekaboo, how's it going? Yo. This doesn't happen to me in Warzone. Oh right, hold on, hold on. Are they friends? Yeah, it's oh, Are they friends? I have no idea. I, honestly, that I, I have nothing to say on that. That was um, a very strange encounter, but back, back to the normal service resumes. It starts getting shot at. Uh, let me know what you think, what happened down in the comments below. But once again, you'll always see this as well with Biffle. And I know I've said it a lot recently on the channel with these sort of videos, but um, look at the way that you do these gunfight engagements, like quick little bunny hops to the side. Um, it's a lot easier if you uh, have a controller with a paddle on the back, like an Xbox Elite Series 2 controller, which is what I use, or a scuff controller. It allows you kind of to use that paddle on the back, if I can see my controller. So like I've got my controller here and I'll hit this paddle on the back, which allows me to jump shot. And uh, it, it gives you a huge, huge advantage. But if we go to this engagement here, I actually want to point a couple things things out because um, you might not have seen it. So here we start fighting at a distance using the M4, but you see the sniper glint on the right and there's no point at all. He dives into cover, sees that, no point fighting there, sees his teammate go down, switches to the MP5 because he knows it's going to be a close fight and just once again, sliding and jumping into every engagement that you can. And now you're going to work a different angle because that sniper's got that position covered. Um, always try, if, you, if someone's got an angle on you, lock down. Try and mix it up. It's saying Biffle and these players do very, very well is mixing their angles up. Gets that down once again. All right, we've seen him do this multiple times. Perfect. Slides in. Other players. He took advantage of the, like there was a beat there where the person's through the C4, goes for the second, but you're running EOD. So these don't really damage you. So it goes in, takes the first one down. A lot of hip fire there, which is very important um, and a very good point thing to point out. It allows you to keep the mobility up so you can react a little bit, as you can see. Right, just finishes off with the ADS and slides in again. That guy's caught mid throw and that's an easy three kills for Biffle there. Finishes him off with the M4. He actually makes that M4 look with the iron sight so clean. It just doesn't move. Uses it perfectly. Teammate's got some live pings off here. And I really want to point the, the movement there. So throws the C4 up, tries to get a tag. Then always, when you're climbing up onto this second platform, um, one of the big things that you want to really do is you never really want to go up this wooden box here um, because you get you can be seen from a lot of angles and also you have to climb to be able to see over. This one you can see over a little bit there so you can get some shots off if needed. Allows him to push in. As he comes out of cover, right, I really want to point this out once again. Look, so as he comes out of cover, he slides out, gives him an advantage if the person sat there pre-aiming and waiting. Always be thinking about where you can get an advantage in a gunfight, even if it's not guaranteed. You should approach every situation how you would. And like, it's once again, the way you're moving around the map, like here, fighting across towards Storage Town, using the M4 to kind of mid-range encounter. But still, look, most players, right, and you might not agree here, but most players right now, they've just cracked the person across towards Storage Town, will just head straight over there. Maybe goes to the hut on the right-hand side as that's the, the way the crow flies, the quickest way to get to the opponent. However, Biffle uses the map and the layout and his map knowledge to wrap around the left so he can have a power, more powerful position and dominant position to pick up the kills. Second, right, takes a, like, luckily uses that to his advantage again, picks up a second kill there. Always be using the map, the way you move around. And like, it's also, I love it. You just be, see someone's head go over there. The way that he moves around, perfect reactions, perfect reactions. He tries to always keep very tight to everything that's going on around the map. Um, so if we kind of watch this quickly, very quickly, right? So hops here, uses the map constantly to his advantage, stays like very close to the silos there. That is is what allows him to be on a higher percentage chance of winning the fights that he gets into because he's always got a bit of cover or something, minimizes those angles. Sees that, gets caught out in the open hit. That was the highest risk moment, gets caught out, but manages to react, uses his gun skill, slide, bunny hop to win the gunfight. He doesn't go for the third set, just dips in, plates straight on, and then he gets involved in this kind of mixer that's going on. Fires a couple shots there, but knows someone's here because he saw the traces come across. Gets that down. Very, very quick reactions. I think that's one of the things. Biff, Biffle's got it all. Um, he's got gun skill, movement, positioning. Um, I was actually talking about this on Twitter, who you think the top five players are in Warzone at the moment. I think a lot of people will agree that Biffle is definitely, definitely up there. And I think we're going to be hearing about him uh, for a long time to come as well. So, but like, look at it. Just, like, this just, it's so clean and consistent. Like he very rarely is missing his shots. He also sees 
like one thing as well is his peripheral vision and, and awareness is very good. Like, look at this. Look how he sees. Like, there's, there's like a couple frames that this guy is in shot. Comes around, sees the little red vest. His gun's covering him. You see, like there, you just see the tip of the gun. But boom, sees it, reacts, takes him down. And that's the sort of detail that you cannot afford to miss, especially if you want to be getting high KDs, high kill games, like you can't miss the people hiding in closets. So we're at PlayStation now, both players trying to get on top of the position because like you, you, around this area, you always want to have some sort of high ground, but sees three people there dip straight out. Now, you don't want to be, if someone's got a high ground position like that on you, you want to dip out, work the angle here, perfect. Pauses, waits for the opportune moment, moment to start firing where he's going to get it down because if he blows his position there, he's not going to do what he just did and jump up to try and get a better angle on the guy on the roof. Uh, so. Yeah, works perfectly. Pushes inside. All right, don't know what that guy's doing. He's just he's just running into a wall. But you know that happens. And boom, here's the res go off as well. That guy went off to try and do as much damage to allow his teammate to get plates off. But Lucky then came in and uh, mopped it up as well. Perfect teamwork. Sees a little head pop up over there. So knows there's two players. Gets the one down, knows there's one other. So he's going to push to work the angle. Gets those plates off quickly. Did you notice that as well? He just bought himself a couple extra seconds here because he hadn't got the plate off. Just as a nice little side stutter, peaks, then goes. Then gets the high ground. Always try and get the high ground if you can. Sees the guy drop down as well. Hugs tight to the wall to pick up this kill. Um, really nice use of the map and the positioning. Doesn't is always thinking about, All right, I need an advantage somehow. How do I narrow the angle where I can get my shots off? But stairwells like ladders whatever you can do to get high ground in a fight or some sort of cover or map position always make sure you do it sees a couple of players coming across the distance so so clean gets that first down so crucial in a team fight especially when you're outnumbered getting that down just allows you to put pressure because you're making the other players make decisions if you've got someone down everyone wants to try and get their teammate back or protect them if they've got self revives and that is how you deal with a riot shield right stun grenades run around them kill them with the smg best way to do it um uh that's why to be honest i run stun grenades now rather than heartbeat sensor there's just a lot more situations that's going to help you out um looking on the roof there thanks to the uav a bit earlier able to see the guy in the corner and gets that team wipe there now this is a really another great point about how biffle uses the map to his advantage starts getting shot Dips out, instantly kind of loops around using the cover just in case someone else has an angle on him while he gets those plates off. Then he comes back in and is able to engage, get some shots off. But one of the biggest things is to know when to disengage and get out of a fight. Here, he's, it's, he, he's got an even fight because it's assault rifles, but sees the glint of a sniper rifle and Biffle is out of there. There's no point. There's no point in fighting this and getting picked by a sniper because... Like, he could get a lucky shot and he's play. he knows he's backing himself, he's backing his skill that he's going to win in more consistent gunfights. And what we're about to witness is one of the best clips from a 1v3, 1v4 situation in Warzone. Straight up, fighting around Burger Town, shoots a guy on the top, there's multiple squads there, five people, takes a hit. Now, look how quickly Biffle gets those plates on in those sort of fights. Like, there's no hesitation. Perfect. Bunny hops once again, gets that down, gets caught mid plate, cancels the plate, and just, oh my, it's, it's, it is disgusting. It is absolutely disgusting, that play. Like, there's a, we, we gotta break this down, because this is the only way. Like, first, first, the first kill, fair enough. It's normal 1v1. Gets it, gets caught here. Now, if we go, let's, hold on, let's see if I can do this slow mo. Okay, so gets caught, cancels that. Hit fire, hit fire, hit fire, slides to buy himself some sort of like modifier to his character model. Jump shot, jump shot, pushes into a tactical sprint, slides in again, hit fires, aimed at, aimed at, like aim down sight, and then starts jump shotting. Like it's, it's, it's pure filth. Like that is one of the best plays you're ever going to see uh, execute perfectly. And one of the reasons I think he's one of the best players out there right now uh, and he's going to win a lot of tournaments. But in the gas now, pushes out and whoa. Okay, that's there's just not much you can do about that, to be honest. All right, he, he comes around the corner. Where even is this sniper? Like I can't even. S oh, is he up top? Yeah, he's, he's up on the roof. That's so unfortunate. Guy's on the roof. Has a self-res. Now, potentially one of the biggest clutches of all time. 
Health really low. Gas mask broken. Slides in. Manages to get gas mask. Also buys a teammate back. Then starts moving and gets plated up. Super, super clutch there. He could have taken his time a little bit, but always good to get your teammate in. And here is just... I, 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 I'm I gutted for him. Like This gets taken out by the guy who's still in the gas for some reason. Uh, but... It's why you buy your teammates back as much, as quickly as you can because right, he's able to get back into the game thanks to his teammate. But like, what, what are you going to do about that? It's the guys just hanging around in the gas um, is just unfortunate. Gets brought back in. Uh, and regaining at endgame is a very, very tricky situation. What you always want to do, I, I believe as well, is you go for a ghost class at this stage because if people have got UAVs up, you're more likely to get teamed on. Um Great work as well. Give your teammates plates, uh, their weapons back, whatever you need. Also here, Rep's trying to help uh, Biffle get his gameplay because he's on for a video. And something that, you know, it's just something that's really nice to do. But goes for, interestingly, has Corvus, uh, the Corvus barrel on this. Teammate goes down. Not what you want because this situation, all right, is, is very unfortunate because just so close to saving him uh but he gets thirsted now he's in a 1v3 situation very very tricky situation this especially when it's the uh like the final fight because if realistically you should lose this especially when each player has uh like 250 hp when they're max plates uh, and it's a fairly open situation it's not inside a building there's no way you can dupe or kind of um get anything so biffle cannot be expected sees the first target here should have downed him. If he downed him, it completely mixes it up, goes to push, and then he's being pushed himself from the side. Um, and there's not really much you can do there. So it's very, very unfortunate. But 38 kills using that M4A1. And as I said, Biffle is an absolute beast. His links will be down in the description. And also, if you're not already, make sure to subscribe. Check out some more Call of Duty Warzone content on the channel. We've got so much more coming right here. And I'm so excited for Cold War as well. And uh, I will see you next time for another Call of Duty Warzone video.